winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on my work in progress map, Eastern Dakota Farms. Um, so I will show you guys what I have all done here. Um, and then we're going to work on a few more fields and then also some section lines to get into some of these fields. So I have added animation map trigger to the map. Um, I believe that I had that stuff working in the in-game testing video and whatnot stuff thing that I had done. I don't remember. Anyway, I got animation map trigger added to the map. Um, so now this door works so you can get inside here. Um... I redid the, you know, I had to re-add the livestock, the sugar beet piler, and then I changed elevators and added crop production services. Um, we need to do a few fixes here. I can see. Um, so wait display. Does that need to just be positive? No. Um, okay. Weight trigger. Weight display. So we need to fix this. Because I put this thing together so that way, no matter which direction you drive in on this thing, you can still see the... Um, you can still see your weight. Because originally it was only on this one side... And then the numbers were in a little ways, so it kept flickering. So I just pulled them out and um, and uh, uh, duplicated it, put it on the other one. So here's the redone livestock sale barn. Um, just re just put it in differently and did a little bit different way of putting this the ground textures. Um, and here we have the crop production services. I need to put a couple of doors on this thing yet. Um, everything works here except for this trigger, but I'm actually not going to make that work since, um, most of the time I'll be using this anyways. So I'm just going to put some doors on this. Uh, the liquid trigger works. The seeds work. Uh, I need to mess with this green treated seed a little bit, see if I can get it smaller image um so we have blue we have red we have green we have orange and we have purple uh treated seeds uh i'm going to be putting a new dealership on here very soon uh, as soon as i get the model um nothing has changed here except i had to bring this building down a little bit the doors do work now uh, and then here we have the sugar beet piler uh the trigger works here now and I have these set up to make it look like the piler has been working. Um, and then the grain probe does work. I am going to change its texture to be like a gray or something uh, instead of this blue. Uh, and I do need to move it. I need to get it so it's over more, centri more centered uh, because it's kind of a pain to get to because you got to be like right up against the edge. Um, let's see, this one is off a little bit yet, too. So I'm just kind of making these adjustments here. Um, so that should mean that the one over here at the piler is off, too, because it's just the same one. It's just duplicated and moved. Uh, I want the whole display here. So there's that one. And then we need this one yet. Okay. So those are all fixed now. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, the I did get the piler to work. I was having some issues with it, but I finally had figured out uh, what my issue was. So that is all of the town right there. That's all that there will be. Unless I think up something else to add um so here <clears throat> okay so let's bring up the single sign single pole here so you can see how these fields are laid out here 
So there's this long field, and then there's this field. It's got a little bit of a curve, um, and then it's got kind of this section here. There's this large field. There's two fields back there. There's a field there, two fields there, and then there would be two fields down there. Well, as you can see, I did things a whole lot differently. Uh, this field I did keep as it was. This one, I just cut this section off to make it its own, and then this field is its own. Um, this field I kept the way it was, and then this field kind of, uh, I just didn't add, um, uh, whatever that is, like a path or something, I don't know what it is, um, but I added that in, and then I just did this all in one section here, and then I put this entire thing right here into one giant field, and then I divided it into tons and tons of sections, so like, this little area here is kind of the smaller field area so this will be kind of where we're starting off uh, when we start playing on this uh, because these are the smaller fields these will be a little bit more manageable with the equipment that I'll start off with so um, so yeah we have let's see two eight okay well let's see here so we have 4, 8, 12. So we have 16 small fields here. Uh, there are a couple that are a little bit bigger. And then we have 4 medium sized fields here. And then 2 larger fields. Um, so I still need to get some section lines into this thing here. Which is what we are going to work on. Um, here right now so we need a section line here section line here here and then some field entrances here and here 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 you know just some field entrances and whatnot um, so yeah there are about half the uh, fields are added right now uh, or a little better um, as you can see these are all the fields that we have left this big guy here this one this rounded off one this medium-ish one here, this kind of larger, that one there, um, these two, that, you know, still a few fields to add. Um, and then the farms, so it's moving along. Uh, and then I did also add this field here, and then this ginormous one. This thing is monstrous. This is a 336 acre field. And the price to buy it, um, let's see here. So land prices in the area where this map is, is $2,968 an acre. So we'll multiply that by 336. $997,248. It is nearly a million dollars to buy this field. This will definitely be one of the uh, last fields that we buy. Uh, as you can see, I did add some rock piles, but I need to get different get something different because the cone shape is just plain ridiculous um, and then got the pond to add it in over here and I need to sign out of steam I don't know why it always signs me in um, so we got a pond added there as well and then just a bunch of grass spots throughout the field so what we're going to work on here is mostly section lines right now and then maybe some fields uh, this right here is also a farm this will be this will probably be like a smaller farm um, one of the like there will probably be two small farms on here and then like one large grain farm and which will probably be like up in this area since this is a larger spot and then there will be a dairy farm and a beef farm so all kinds of stuff that you know there will be all kinds of options on here um, and all the farms will be viable except of course the one that you start off with uh, which will probably be right here that's probably what I'll put right here uh, for this farm area so kind of along this um, that'll be like the farm that you start off with so there will be you know your house there will be probably you know there will be a Quonset and maybe one other shed and then um, 
probably well then a couple of grain bins and that'll probably be about it and then some trees around it so it won't be really that big you'll have you know limited grain capacity and whatnot so you know, it'll definitely be definitely be interesting so anyhow let's get some section lines added to these fields here uh, let's see these fields are done so we need to bring up train editing we need to close this a little ways to right there and then we can deselect that we need square we need zero or 1.5 add smooth subtract okay we need gravel and then we need grass and we're going to check that box okay so now this field I'm going to put the entrance right here Okay, there's that one done. Um, we got one for that one. This field will, you'll go in down here, along the edge of it, kind of. Hmm, this one seems a little bit too large to me. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, we're going to redo this one here because, okay, maybe it's not done. Hmm, it just kind of seemed a little bit too big. But it's not. Works for me. Go back to foliage. The nice thing about having these fields along the uh, edge here is I don't need to fence along here because this will stop anything from going. Um, this field I do not look forward to fencing at all. This field's going to be terrible. Even though I only have to do like two sides, but it's got so many curves, it's going to suck. That is for sure. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it at all. Okay, um, so now we got this field, or this area here. So we need to try and get this to go kind of down the center, if at all possible. Right there will work. Okay, we need grass because we need to remove. Oof, da. Sorry about that. Wow. Those are some crazy sneezes. Okay, so this is basically just going to come down to right about here, and then, okay. So let's go right like this. This is kind of how it's going to go. Okay, so now we can go back to painting here. So what I've decided is I'm just going to right now go through, paint all these fields in and all the section lines and whatnot, and then, then I'm going to go through and fence all of these fields here, all these little ones, because, you know, since these are what we'll be using this, you know, at the start these are what need the fence the most and then maybe fence like 
one of these or you know maybe fence a couple of these medium ones and then go through and add all these farms and all the other scripts and stuff and get it so that way it's ready to play and then you know we can start playing on this and then you know I can go in every once in a while and I can you know kind of slowly go back and add the rest of the fences that I need and whatnot so and that's kind of what I'm hoping I'm not sure how it'll work out but that's what I'm gonna go for we'll just have to kind of see how things play out here to kind of see how things come together it did take me a while to get animation map trigger working I don't know why but like you know I copy you know I followed the tutorial for adding it because in the animation map trigger mod uh, zip file there's instructions on how to install it well I followed those and it didn't work so okay well I'll try something different well I tried copying off of other maps still didn't work well what the world and then I had to do something where I was looking inside the files for my um, Will Brothers map and I saw okay I did get it added to that map already so maybe I'll just try following off of that so I took all the pieces off of or from there copied everything and whatnot and it worked all right cool well then um, the door for Century 21 and the doors in um, and then these walkthrough doors here because this has automatically opening doors as does Century 21 so these doors and the doors there didn't work and then these doors didn't work so I took the stuff off of County Line uh, and just added you know I added the door trigger uh, Lua file to my files and added that into the um, extra source files line in the uh, map XML and then uh, just added all the other lines that I needed in the mod desk and whatnot and then all those doors worked so I was like all right cool so now I can get the pro probe working so then I went to Midwest grain and livestock copied all the stuff for the probe and the probe was working so uh, finally got everything to work which is awesome um, the dealership that I plan on using is actually a ATS or American Truck Sim uh, model. It's one of the garages, I believe, from there, just textured as a dealership. Um, the owner of Canadian Farming and Modding is he had been working on it, and uh, whenever he gets a chance, he's gonna send me the Blender file for that, and then I'm gonna, you know texture everything or you know bake everything if he hasn't already and then uh, put it on my map and get some doors on it and whatnot and then we'll have a really cool John Deere dealership which will be pretty cool um, that is not how I wanted that to work at all that's terrible That is really terrible. Okay. Gravel. There we go. That works a little better. Okay, so now we need to go... We're going to go dirt... And it'll just kind of come along in here like this. So now we'll bring our 
stuff down our grass through the center. I am kind of glad that my map files got corrupted because, you know, I've done so many things differently now and in a way that I think will actually be better. So that's kind of good. Um, you know, I'm kind of happy in a way about that. You know, of course, I, it's never fun to lose progress, but, you know, like I put the piler in a different section and in a different way. And I put, you know, CPS here is basically where the piler was before. And then I did the livestock sale barn a little differently. I do have a scale here, obviously, as you can see. Uh, that's basically just so that you can weigh your cattle truck to make sure you're not overweight, you're not overloaded or anything. Um, and all the scales do work when you drive on. The numbers appear. So... Um, I have not figured out how I want to run this yet. This is going to be interesting to do here, but it'll happen eventually. I did do some more smoothing on this road because it was kind of a, a bit of a bump yet. So I did get that done. Um, this next thing I'm going to run is just going to be right here and it's going to be pretty small. Um, 1.5, I want square, and I want not asphalt, gravel. Just a little entrance to get into this one, or these ones, I guess I should say. Okay. So now, those are all added. So now, I think we can work on the next field. Actually, let's work on some fencing here. I'm not, I don't really want to, but it's got to get done, so. Or maybe I won't fence these little fields. Ah, yeah, I will. It'll be kind of easy. I just go around the outside edge, especially down here. I can just go straight along until I get down to here. And then, yeah. We'll work on some fencing, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, in between, like, along the road section line here. So it'll probably, like, just be in between and up to here and then in between and whatnot. So, I need N section. We're going to go Control D and Control B. So, we're going to go like that. Okay, so we can get rid of that for now. So, we don't really need it. So, then we need to flip that around. So, we need 180, 90, and 180. Or not. Ah, we needed negatives and then zero. Got it. Okay, so now we need P. 
post and wire. Okay, first we need to control shift C, post slash wire, control D, control shift V, um, negative 180, negative 180, and then we slide it. Okay, so now we need to slow our speed down a little ways. Just because it's a little fast for fences here. Wait, that was a large, large change there. Holy smokes. So let's go zero. Okay, so we need to go negative. Zero point, oh, no, zero point five. Let's try one then. One looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna get a corner section over here. So we're gonna go corner, control D, control shift V. And then it needs to be like that. And we'll slide it down into place. Which is right about there. Okay. <clears throat> so the next video is pretty much just going to be fencing. Because as soon as I finish recording this video, I'm just going to start... Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish and start recording the next one right away. So. Because I'm getting as many recorded today as possible. Okay, so then this one we'll have to resize here in a moment. We are going to get the next one going first. Actually, you know what? I think we can actually slide that corner post a little bit. Because that's plenty far. So that's what we'll do. We'll just slide that corner post a little. Make it match up with this. Okay, and we're going to go Control Shift C, Control D, Control Shift V. Okay, so then we got that, and then I need to duplicate it once more. There we go. Okay, so now this one, we delete the post and then leave the wires. This one, we need to move the wires down. And then this one, we just gotta adjust up and down, which it's actually pretty good where it's at right there. Okay. Now, this is where it's gonna get fun. Because I wanna make it so that these can all tie in somehow or something. I don't know. 
we'll figure that out when we get there. For now, we're just going to go around this outer edge, get all that done. Okay, so I'm basically going to end the video and start recording the next one. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.